nearly 90,000 women in the U.S. receive a gynecologic cancer diagnosis each year, such as endometrial, also known as uterine, ovarian, or cervical cancer. Breast cancer affects more than 242,000 women in the United States. Women after menopause are more likely to develop certain cancers. However, gynecologic malignancies can also develop in women before menopause. Therese Bevers, MD, the medical director of the Cancer Prevention Center, explains that although your risk for all cancer types increases as you get older, it's crucial to know what to look for at any age. That way, if symptoms develop, you can immediately inform your doctor. Gynecologic cancers often have hazy symptoms that resemble those of other diseases. The only malignancies that can be found with screening are those of the breast and cervix. Thus, by identifying these symptoms and discussing them with your gynecologist or primary care physician, you'll boost your chances of discovering cancer at an early stage while it's still very treatable. Number 10. Abnormal Vaginal Bleeding In more than 90% of endometrial cancer patients, irregular bleeding occurs. Any bleeding, even spotting, should be examined if you have already gone through menopause. This might also be a symptom of vaginal or cervical cancer. Abnormal vaginal bleeding can be a concerning symptom, especially in the context of cancer. Number 9. Unexplained Weight Loss if you're overweight or obese, reducing your weight through exercise and healthier eating can actually lower your risk of developing cancer. Unexplained weight loss is a common symptom in cancer patients. It refers to unintentional weight loss that occurs without any known cause, such as changes in diet or physical activity. Weight loss can be significant and can affect both muscle mass and fat stores in the body. In the context of cancer, unexplained weight loss is often associated with advanced stages of the disease. However, consult your doctor if you suddenly lose more than 10 pounds without altering your diet or exercise routine. Number 8. Vaginal Discharge Colored with Blood a bloody, dark, or smelly discharge is usually a sign of infection, but sometimes it's a warning sign of cervical, vaginal, or endometrial cancer. Vaginal discharge that is colored with blood can be a symptom of various conditions, including cancer. However, it's important to remember that many non-cancerous conditions can also cause abnormal vaginal bleeding or discharge. It's worth noting that cancer can affect different areas of the reproductive system, including the cervix, uterus, ovaries, and vagina. Abnormal vaginal bleeding or discharge can be a symptom of certain gynecological cancers, such as cervical cancer or endometrial cancer. However, these symptoms can also be caused by non-cancerous conditions like infections, hormonal imbalances, or benign growth. Number 7. Constant Fatigue Fatigue is a common symptom experienced by many people with cancer. It can be caused by a variety of factors related to the disease itself, as well as its treatment. Cancer can sometimes cause a decrease in red blood cells, a condition known as anemia. Anemia reduces the amount of oxygen delivered to tissues and organs, resulting in fatigue. Dealing with a cancer diagnosis and undergoing treatment can be emotionally challenging. Anxiety, depression, and stress can all contribute to feelings of fatigue. Cancer and its treatment can affect appetite and lead to weight loss or malnutrition. Nutritional deficiencies can contribute to fatigue. A busy week can wear anyone out, but in most cases, a little rest should cure your fatigue. If fatigue is interfering with your work or leisure activities, stop blaming your hectic life and see your doctor. Number 6. Loss of appetite or feeling full all the time. Loss of appetite and feeling full all the time are common symptoms experienced by individuals with cancer. The presence of a tumor can interfere with the normal functioning of the digestive system, leading to a loss of appetite or a feeling of fullness. Certain types of cancer, 
such as pancreatic cancer or tumors in the gastrointestinal tract, can directly affect the digestive process and cause these symptoms. Treatments like chemotherapy, radiation therapy, or targeted therapies can have side effects that affect the appetite and digestion. These treatments can cause nausea, vomiting, mouth sores, taste changes, or gastrointestinal issues, all of which can contribute to a loss of appetite or feeling full. Dealing with a cancer diagnosis and its associated treatments can be emotionally and psychologically challenging. Stress, anxiety, depression, or fear can affect a person's appetite and eating habits, leading to a loss of interest in food or feeling full quickly. Appetite changes may be symptoms of ovarian cancer or other cancers not related to the reproductive system. Number 5. Pain in the pelvis or abdominal area. Pelvic or abdominal pain can be a symptom of various types of cancer. The specific causes and characteristics of the pain can vary depending on the type and stage of cancer. Pelvic pain is a common symptom of ovarian cancer, particularly in the later stages. The pain may be persistent or intermittent and can range from mild to severe. Tumors in the colon or rectum can cause abdominal pain or cramping, often accompanied by changes in bowel habits, such as diarrhea or constipation. Ongoing abdominal pain or discomfort, including gas, indigestion, pressure, bloating, and cramps as the tumor grows, it can cause pain or discomfort in the lower abdomen or pelvis. Other urinary symptoms like frequent urination, blood in the urine, or pain during urination may also be present. Number 4. Changes in your bathroom habits. When going through cancer treatment, it's common to experience changes in bathroom habits due to various factors, including the type of cancer, the specific treatments involved, and the overall impact on the body. Certain cancers or cancer treatments can lead to increased urinary frequency. For example, prostate cancer or pelvic radiation therapy can affect bladder function, causing more frequent trips to the bathroom. Some cancer treatments, such as surgery or radiation therapy to the pelvic area, may cause temporary or permanent urinary incontinence. This can result in the inability to control urination fully or leakage, suddenly need to urinate all the time or feel constant pressure on your bladder. Unless, if you've started drinking more liquids or you're pregnant, this may be a sign of cancer. Number 3. Persistent Indigestion or Nausea Persistent indigestion or nausea can be common symptoms in cancer patients. These symptoms can be caused by various factors, including the tumor itself, the cancer treatment, or other related complications. Depending on the location of the tumor, it can interfere with the normal functioning of the digestive system, leading to indigestion or nausea. For example, tumors in the gastrointestinal tract can cause obstruction, inflammation, or irritation, resulting in these symptoms. Certain cancer treatments, such as chemotherapy, radiation therapy, or targeted therapy, can cause gastrointestinal side effects, including indigestion and nausea. Chemotherapy drugs can irritate the lining of the stomach or intestines and affect the normal digestive process. The emotional and psychological stress associated with cancer diagnosis and treatment can also contribute to indigestion and nausea. Anxiety, depression, or heightened stress levels can affect the digestive system and lead to these symptoms. Occasionally, persistent indigestion or nausea can signal gynecologic cancer. Play it safe and see your doctor if you feel queasy more often than usual. Number 2. Change in bowel habits. Changes in bowel habits can be a symptom of various medical conditions, including cancer. Bubble habits refer to the frequency, consistency, and appearance of your bowel movements. While changes in bowel habits are not always indicative of cancer, they can sometimes be a warning sign that further investigation is needed. 
Persistent or recurrent episodes of loose, watery stools may be a sign of certain types of cancer, such as colorectal cancer. However, diarrhea can also be caused by various other factors, such as infections, medications, or dietary changes. It may be a sign of something externally pressing on the colon. This could be any advanced stage gynecologic cancer or other cancer. Persistent or recurrent episodes of loose, watery stools may be a sign of certain types of cancer, such as colorectal cancer. However, diarrhea can also be caused by various other factors, such as infections, medications, or dietary changes. Number 1. Change in your breast most breast cancers are detected by women themselves during routine daily activities like bathing, shaving, or even scratching. Be alert for lumps in the breast or armpit. Also, be on the lookout for changes to the skin on your breasts, changes in the look and feel of your breasts, and abnormalities in the nipples. Did you like it? Tell us what you think of the video in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting videos.